Hey tires, Darren here with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying George Cook's Conehead Blue Moon. This is a part of the Alaska Boo series and it's a nice simple marabou fly. Just a few materials but a lot of action. This is a perfect fly for BC rivers like the Dean or the Kispiox. And during the winter time, I would fish this in larger sizes, say like number two down to uh, size one. And in the summer, smaller sizes such as two to a four. You can tie this with, with or without the extra weight if you think you need it. Side note, there is a brewery in Golden, Colorado called Blue Moon. Maybe worth checking out. All right, let's check out the materials and get started tying. Let's get a new hook in the vise. I'm using the Superfly heavy wire salmon and steelhead hook. And this is a size 2, but any salmon or steelhead hook will work great. And I have a gold cone head. This is a size 6 millimeter. So I'm just going to put a little bit of thread down on the hook shank here. If you want you can add a little bit of extra weight with a little bit of lead just in behind the cone. I'm going to add 10 wraps on here. push that down make sure it's in place. Now I'm going to take some of this uh, metallic blue flashaboo. I'm going to take approximately uh, 20 strands maybe. 15 to 20 strands. And we're going to tie that in just where we ended up our lead. Tie that back into the bend I'm going to wrap forward, not all the way. I'm going to leave a little bit of room here. And we're going to wrap this just to cover up the body. Alright, so this can get a little bit tricky. You just have to kind of be a little bit careful with your materials. Alright, so I'm just going to let that hang forward for now. If you want, you, of course, you can clip this and uh, makes it a little bit easier to handle. Next I'm going to take some marabou. I'm going to pull the bottom half of the feather and pull these fibers off. I'm going to tie that on. That's going to trail out the back. I'm just going to add a couple wraps just to secure it. I'm going to pull the other side off. Then I'm left with the top portion there. Alright. Just secure those down. Now we're going to trim off these tag ends. Then I'm going to fold back. I'm going to split this group of uh, flashaboo. I'm going to tie half down either side. Just add a couple wraps. 
secure that and then I'm going to trim it off with the tail. I'm going to keep this in a group and it's going to be part of the fly. I'm going to tie it on the top. So just put that aside. Next we take our remaining marabou. And what I want to do is I just want to pull these fibers down, create a little tie-in spot near the top. We'll add a few wraps, pull that tip back to lock it in place. Trim it, and then we're going to run our scissors along the edge of this feather just to help fold it back. And then we're going to palmer by pulling back the fibers as we wrap. This will help create a nice shape for the fly as well when it's wet. You get sort of this teardrop shape. And we'll lock that in place. Alright, so now we're going to grab that flashaboo that we reserved. What I like to do is just fan it out a little bit just so it's not in too big of a clump right on top. Let a loose wrap, pull that through. Now you can see it kind of spreads out over the top, just kind of distributes that flash material over the fly. Alright, and then lastly we're going to take a piece of schlappen. Just going to pull that down. Make a tie-in point the same way I did with the marabou. And add a few turns, fold back the tip. Right, that didn't go as well as planned. Here's what we'll do. We'll pull that up a little further, lock it in again. Alright, we'll just kind of give that feather a bit of a helping hand to help it behave here. Well, this one isn't going to behave as much as most of the other ones, so we'll try and finesse that a little bit. We're still going to keep stroking back the fibers. So this one has a twisted shaft. So these feathers can be a little bit trickier, but if you get a bit of patience, you can tame them. Especially on the last turn here, should be fine. And we're just going to lock that in place. Make sure you got turns of thread on inside and the outside of that stem. There we go. Just going to add a whip finish. One thing I should mention is I do like using a thicker thread when using cones and beads just because, especially on the cheaper beads that you buy, they can have little burrs on the back that'll cut your thread really easily. So if you're buying higher quality beads, they're usually polished better, so you shouldn't have any problems with the thread fraying around the bead, but on the cheaper quality ones, you might run into some problems depending on the brand. And there you have 
the Blue Moon, George Cook's Blue Moon. It's a nice steelhead salmon pattern. Thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.